<laughs> What's happening, fam? LL Movement still moving. America has affluenza. This case about a kid recently. A few people have talked about it. Kid killed four people, drunk driving, 16 year old. Psychologist got on talking about, you know, kid has affluenza. Not the flu. <laughs> but he comes from a rich background, so he's not used to having to deal with responsibility, so you should just slap him on the wrist because he doesn't know what he's doing because he's rich and irresponsible. Well, that goes for America. See, we do shit to each other and to other people in the world with and act like we have no idea of the consequences. Just like the kid who killed the four people. You think a kid don't know he killed four people? The thing about it is the kid don't have don't care that he killed four people. You know why? Because at the end of the day, if you cared, you would do something and that you would do something about it. Now he's a sixteen year old. The people that are that bother me in that situation are his parents. Because it's not the kid who suffers from influenza, uh, affluenza, what the hell. It's his parents that do. See, he, his parents are no different from George Zimmerman's parents. They're no different from uh, a, racist, a racist parents. They're no different from than Thomas Jefferson. They're no different than hmm, the quote-unquote and the founding fathers. They're no different from... Jagger Hoover, you know, no different from all these people. Because they think their position gives them the ability to wreak havoc on other people and cover it up for younger generations. So it's supposed to be that way. See, this kid could go up and kill more people, become a serial killer. Why? Because when he was 16, he killed four people. And he went to a year party rehab. What happened? I was drinking, okay? So you 16, you weren't supposed to be drinking no way. You killed four people, right? Uh-huh. So what you think you're going to do when you go back home? Drink. What you think you're going to do when you go to college? Drink. What you think you're going to do when you get out of college? Drink. What you think you're going to do when you go out in the world? Drink. Think it's gonna be the last wreck he has? Bullshit. Same thing, go back to George Zimmerman. Is it a surprise that he keeps getting his ass in trouble? I don't know why. He suffers from affluenza. America, which is my point. So used to doing shit that, oh my god. See, that's what Jeremiah Wright was talking about for all the people who don't understand. He was saying you can't go around here doing shit and not expect people to do shit back to you when they realize that you actually think you have a license to do shit to people. And we as a country feel like we have a license to fuck with people. To fuck up people's lives, to fuck up people's cultures, to fuck up people's homes, to fuck up people's future generations. With no regard for, maybe those people don't, are starting to say, you know what, I'm about to fuck your shit up. Maybe you need to know how I feel. That's the, the elephant in the room. That's the, oh my God, the Columbine, the new town. The, you know, 9-11, uh, hell, Jerry Zanduskis, you know, um, come on, Bernie Madoff, the Lehman Brothers, all that shit is, you know, intertwined to the same thing. You can't keep doing shit. That's white guilt and white fear. That they, that's why people are so shook. That they're like, man, we're so comfortable doing shit. We don't know how to not do shit no more. And we know this is coming to an end. That's why when they say America's not America no more, America's changing. Let me tell you something. The darker America gets, 
I promise you this. White people are going to start leaving the country. Not because they figure they're going to go somewhere else and populate there and relegate the certain races and poor middle class to be the labor force while they live in luxury somewhere else because it's a little too dark for them or not necessarily dark but we can't oppress them and be in the same place with them now because the numbers don't add up and this is not the territory to try to do it that's what it's about so now what's going to happen is once again same thing it goes for the president taking that damn self we're going we have a generation of older people who just think that they can do whatever they want to whoever they want however they want same thing with police brutality and eventually people are gonna figure out that you know technology is a bitch because too many people are seeing that what you thought of was that was reality it's not reality and now people are starting to question everything because they're seeing all the things that's supposed to be swept under the rug and you can't and the thing about affluenza is that kid and his family just like this country has no problem it's okay if I can buy my way out of doing shit to somebody else but see that shit comes back on you and knocks on your doorstep and it is unforgiving and when that happens just like every everybody says this when shit happen to white people when shit happen to rich people when shit happen to in politics to republicans who fight against certain things or democrats who fight against certain things when the shit hit home then it makes sense well i'm just here to tell you that Shit's about to really hit home. But nobody's going to care. Because your affluenza <laughs> is obsolete. Peace.